Dad's house where we'll be growing our hydroponic veggies. It's a new bench for my orchids over there with some mesh up behind for hanging other orchids on banders, hard cane dendrobiums etc potting bench this is a star of the bench that we will be using for our Dutch buckets to grow tomatoes etc and over behind we'll have a bench for hydroponic lettuce, parsley and strawberries in 100ml pipes Moving along a bit now with our with our greenhouse. So our walkers in place there. And this is a new bench that we're going to put our rail system on. Slipper orchid I picked up last Sunday at an orchid meeting Paphlopedium, a slipper orchid, a ladies slipper orchid Winston Churchill, indomitable as a close up of the bloom very large beautiful bloom complete with new growth starting down the base so that will come on once the flower is finished another smaller slipper orchid that we picked up Bill G crossed with red shift of the close up of the bloom. Very dark red burgundy colour. The hydroponic systems are moving along. We've now got the Dutch buckets collected to the drain line, which runs into the reservoir. Down there. Over the back, the first row of our rail system been set up and tested pumping from the reservoir down there with the yellow lid we're going to do some more work on that today put some stopcocks into the system and then we shall test it again we're going to put a stopcock in this line so we can control the depth of water in our rail nine degrees at the moment so we'll heat up the pipe first the tube first make it a bit easier to cut and then rejoin okay cut it first it's a lot easier Now we'll put the stopcock in 
hopefully while it's still warm. Okay, first half. A little bit warmer on the top. That's the first one. I'll go ahead and do the other four now. They've all been done now. I'll now put a spigot and a T-angle in the pump line. Bring some more bark down to spread on the floor. We'll get another couple of buckets, then we'll rake that in. Okay, another couple of buckets. Another one. 
now we'll rake it out level. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll respond to them. Thanks for watching.